Let's go. Yay. For the future. For the future. Yay. Yay. I got it. On behalf of the members of the Board of Friends of Science East Incorporated, doing business as Tesla Science Center at Wardenclyffe, I am absolutely delighted to say that this morning in the offices of Squire Sanders at 30 Rockefeller Plaza here in New York City, our organization, with the financial backing of over 33,000 people around the globe, purchased Nikola Tesla's last remaining laboratory anywhere in the world from Agfa Corporation. It's done. It's just amazing that all of this has come together. It's the first step in pursuing this dream we've had for such a long time. And someday the dream will come true, totally, in that we will have a science center and Tesla museum on the Wardenclyffe site. But right now we're all basking in the glow of that wonderful achievement that together the whole world has helped us to create this, uh, this day. What's really important to mark today among the uh, variety of complexities that have led to this moment is that by us taking title to this property today, uh, we have vindicated the loss of the property in 1915 to foreclosure uh, by Nikola Tesla uh, for circumstances beyond his control. And here it is uh, 98 years later. And uh, I'm sure when he died, he thought he lost the dream at Wardenclyffe. But here we are today to re rekindle that uh, flame and uh, we plan on educating the world as to the genius and the accomplishments of Nikola Tesla at the land and at the laboratory that was his last uh, laboratory in the world. It's a great day, it's a happy day and uh, after we finish celebrating and having a drink we got to go right back to work and, uh, and raise some more money for him. I feel this is a turning point in human history, the final exoneration of Nikola Tesla but also the creation of a national monument that all socioeconomical uh, backgrounds can go and learn about the life legacy and information that can essentially change our entire civilization for the better. What, what amazes me about this event is that the people here are not here for self-advancement or self-aggrandizement, to get petition, power, wealth, money, or to be appreciated. Really none of them. Their motivation is so sincere and pure and for something bigger than themselves. And if you get this kind of people together, you know, I think it was Abraham Lincoln that said, there's no limit to what you can accomplish if you're not worried about who's going to get credit for it. But today is a fantastic moment. It's the crowning achievement of a long, uh, long journey with a steady focus on a distant dream. And it's pretty unbelievable that what seven months can do and what 30,000 people worldwide can do and have done to make this moment come and become reality. And there's a tremendous sense of, uh, just a, of justice today because the property that he lost is now in the hands of the Tesla Science Center at Wardenclyffe, who's really whose sole uh, purpose is to celebrate the life and genius of Nikola Tesla. Thank you.